Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 263 Insights. I hope you're okay wherever you are. It's a brilliant day. Today's story, the Malawian government had decided to send 220 young people to work in Israel in farm in exchange of an aid of 60 million US dollars. As much as it sounds funny to you, this is the truth. Why is uh, Israel in need of uh, Malawian labor? Because there is war. And a lot of countries have decided to pull away their people. Countries like Philippines and Thailand, they have decided to take away their people because of selfish reasons. But who is mad enough to go to a country which is at war and say no i can we can get that job it's fine africans that's why israel decided to come with 60 million they know our leaders can take anything they know our leaders they want they are desperate and they are they don't have any clue so they can take anything they don't think of, they don't care about the savage of these people because the conflict between Israel and Palestine is not over yet and it can escalate, it can become big, it can become huge at any point in time. But the government of Malawi decided to say, no, it's fine. As long as you give us 60 million, we're going to give you 220 young people to go and work in farms. Let me ask you one question. Do you think... If things were normal in Israel, do you think a Malawian would have a would have a chance to apply for a visa to go and work in Israel? It's a question that you need to answer. You need to give me an answer in the comment section because I want to know: Do you think a Malawian would have had an easiest passage into the into Israel to get work if things were not normal right now? Okay. So I'm conflicted at the moment because on the other hand, I, I'm, even though I want to criticize uh, President Chikwera's decision to send these young people to Israel, on the other hand, I understand the situation in Malawi. I understand that the government, they failed to create any, um, any wealth, any, any opportunities for these young people. There's a high rate of unemployment in Malawi. There's high rates of poverty in Malawi so they are actually desperate and I don't know how much these people are going to be paid how much they are going to get but it's actually difficult for them I think it's actually difficult for him to deny uh, that because he knows that the situation in his country that we don't have jobs for these people so it's better for them to go there if people are going in boats to Europe, crossing the Mediterranean Sea, can you blame President Shakira's decision to get into a labor exchange deal with uh, Israel? It's it's conflicting, to be honest. It's conflict, but on the other hand, it shows you how uh, difficult the situation in Africa is. It shows you how bad the, situ the situation in most African countries is to the extent that whilst other countries are pulling out uh, their uh, their people for safety reasons we are deciding to send our people there it doesn't make sense so let's watch the video of the 220 young people from Malawi going to Israel boarding a plane going to Israel and receiving a message from a representative of the Israeli government uh, I think you know they are trying to make them feel welcome, you know, some of those things. This is the video, guys. And the other thing is why the Malawian government is facing a lot of criticism is this deal was done secretively. It was not transparent. It was not done the public was not aware but you know nowadays information just leaks people leak this information that's why the media 
find out like, oh, this deal is actually happening. So that's actually raised like a lot of red flags. Like if, if this is, if the government decided to do this, this deal should be made public to the whole country. We know they are desperate. That's why they are treating us in this way, man. Because we know if if there was no the, this conflict, there was no this conflict was not there. They were not going to give these Malawis these chances. They are desperate. That's why they are now reaching out now to Africa and say, "Oh, Africa, we want to give you an opportunity. We're gonna give you a uh, certain um, millions of dollars. We need uh one thousand workers." But you must come to a country which at any moment in time you can be bombed in those fields. It doesn't make sense. So you don't feel completely disconnected from home. So I will be, for the next five years, I will be your home. If you need anything, I will be your father, your mother, your aunt, your grandfather, <laughs> anything you need. I really want to... Thank you. Thank you very much. I really want to welcome you to Israel. I just came this morning from Israel. The country needs you. What you are doing is not is not simple. What you are doing have a lot, a, a big say to the people of Israel. And the other thing, I hope they will pay them much better, which I doubt because I know they usually don't pay Africans the same uh, wages they pay to other uh, like pay Filipinos and and the Thais. There's actually they actually pay us different. Different, different wages so i hope in this deal the government of malawi decided to at least strike a good deal so that these kids these young people can receive much money at least when they come back home they will start from somewhere and also i don't know how that 60 million that the the, the, the malawian government is receiving from the east from israel the israelite israeli government is going to be used is it going to go to for youth development because it makes sense that that man should go directly to youth development because these are the young people going to risk their lives there it's not she, president Jukwere is going that side it's for his kids it's someone's children who's it's like going to war it's like going to war. Most people might think that, yeah, you're going, this is like going to war. Because if you remember, there were stories like between, uh, in the Russian-Ukraine war, there were stories where volunteers who have come from UK going to help the uh, Ukrainians in, the, in, the, in their fight against the Russians, they were forced to go into front lines. And the Lord decided to come back to run away. Because they were not expecting that. So this it is not easy to go to a country which is going through a war. It's not easy. There is no safety. There is no guarantee for your safety. Which I am so scared about these young men. You are coming in this difficult time to help us. To work on the agriculture. You know Israel is a country where very important for us agriculture. And I feel a lot of similarity with Malawi. That's why the first country in Africa that got the possibility to bring workers to Israel and for yeah, five yeah, years, yeah. not for one, not for two, and not for three, uh, for five years, uh, yes. it's Malawi. I hope that test and that first airplane will bring much, much, much more in the future. Because the idea is to have a few thousand of workers, a few thousand of workers in Israel, where we exchange not only money between working and an employee, but also culture, also knowledge. I want you to take the maximum. Okay, that's it. Uh, we're gonna end it here because I don't think he's gonna say anything that is going to please me, this guy. Um, okay, so you have it, guys. Let me know what you think on the comment section. Do you think this is a good deal for Malawians, or do you think uh, our governments, they have, our African governments, they have no clue at all? Because if you see situations like this, it shows you that our government have failed to create opportunities for us here in Africa. And now they are decided to, to 
to sell us to countries where there is war, to put us in danger actually, because they have no clue at all. It's actually sad, but it's also conflicting because I, I understand that these guys, they need to make money at, at, at the end of the day. And if some people are crossing on boats through, through the Mediterranean Ocean, trying to go to Europe, I cannot blame uh, uh, Dr. Chiquera to send these 220 years to uh, Israel. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out.